Number 69. Consider this question. What mass of a concentrated solution of nitric acid, which is 68.0% HNO3 by mass, which is nitric acid, and uh, this is needed to prepare 400.0 grams of a 10.0% per, uh, solution of HNO3 by mass? And then letter A says we need to outline the steps necessary to answer the question, and then B, obviously, we have to answer the question. Okay. So... Since this is the first question of this kind, I'm going to kind of go a little bit more in depth into the new formula that we have to use here. But once I go over the theory and teach you the, the proper way of doing it, there's a little trick to do this type of question as well. And I want to preface this by saying that it's specific for this type of question. Okay. But first let's look at the formula. Now, for A, right, we need to outline the steps necessary. Cool. Now, the question is asking what mass of a concentrated solution, but it's a solution nonetheless. I don't really care if it's concentrated or diluted, but we're basically looking for the mass of a solution. And we, you know, we should know that the mass is in grams, right? So we're basically looking for a grams of a solution. And remember, a solution is just a big word for saying solute plus solvent, right? The solution is the total of your solute and your solvent. Now, they're telling us that it's 68.0% by mass, okay? So we, you know, we'll, we'll put this in here. And now it's telling us we want to prepare 400 grams of the 10% solution. So I have another, you know, piece of information here. I have 400 grams of a solution. And this is of 10%. Now, out of these two pieces of information, which one do I know more about? This one, right? I know that I have 400 grams of my solution, which is the total, and it's of a 10% solution, right? This is what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for the mass of the solution if it was 68%. So whenever we're dealing with masses and percents, we think of this formula. And I'll put this up over here. This is just a percent mass. Do you see how the percents that they gave us, both of them, it's by mass. That's how I know that I'm going to be using this formula. A percent mass formula is just the solute mass, right? Solute divided by the total solution. So remember, any time that there's a percent, it's just literally a part divided by a whole. In this case, the solute is the part, it's the small thing, that's placed into the solvent, and you get a solution. I know, all right, like there's like a trick to know which one is which, right? If I count the letters of solute, there's six letters, and if I count the letters in solution, there's eight. So since there's more letters in solution, I know that that's the bigger one. So that's kind of little, like a little trick. So the first thing is, is if I have a 400 gram solution, that's the number here, and they tell me that it's 10%, what can I find out by using this formula? I could find out the solute mass. So the first thing I have to do is I have to find out the solute mass. And the mass is in grams, right? Now all we're doing here is we're just diluting. If we're going from a concentrated solution to something that's diluted, all I'm doing is I'm just adding water. That's the solvent. So. What you're going to do next is the solute mass does not change. The only thing that changes is the solvent. So I'm going to use that solute mass and place it into the new solution, right? The new formula, because I have a different percentage. And then I'm going to solve for the mass of solution. So I'm going to use that solute mass to solve for the mass of the solution. 
Okay, so let's let's give it a shot. So for now, B, I'm just going to use this formula for the information that I have here, right? I know that it's a 10.0%, and I'm going to equal that to something over something else times 100. They told us that it was 400 grams of solution. The solution number goes on the bottom. So the 400 goes on the bottom, and we're solving for that mass. So that's x. So all we have to do, you know, is just divide by 100 on both sides to kind of get rid of this part. 10 divided by 100 is 0 0.1, right? And then it's x over 400. So this is cross multiplication. We get x equals whatever this is, 400 times 0.1. 40, and that's in grams. And now this is the solute mass. But we're not done. We still wanted to find the new mass of the solution. So I'm going to do the same formula again and use that solute mass to now get the new solution, right? This number now is 400 grams. So I'm going to plug in the 400 grams and I'm going to solve for the solution number. So I'm going to set up the same formula again, but now I'm using this information, the 68%. So 68.0% equals just some fraction times 100. The 40 grams goes on the top, and now I'm solving for x on the bottom. So we can just divide both sides by 100 to get rid of the 100 on the right side, right? This would be 0 0.68 equals... 40 over x, cross multiply, right? We get 0.68x equals 40, and then divide by 0 0.8, 0 0.68. So 40 divided by 0.68 is 58.8. So this number, and maybe I'll put it over here, this mass solution is 58.8 grams, and that's the mass of the concentrated solution. So this is your final answer solution, we'll say. Okay. Now, with this way, we did this formula twice. Now, we can do something different, but it's only specific for this example, so I'm just going to show you. I'm going to erase this part, and I'm going to give you a new formula if you didn't want to use the other formula. Now, the new formula is basically a variation of M1V1 equals M2V2. If you guys are on the playlist, we've done a lot of problems with M1V1 equals M2V2, the concentrated side with the diluted side. I'm just going to change that up a little bit. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to say percent, we'll say, we'll keep it with M1V1 and M2V2. So I'll say percent one, and then we'll do, we'll say, uh, we'll say lowercase m. One equals percent two, M2. So these two things now, are your mass percents before and after concentrated and diluted. And then the M's are your gram amount. So lowercase m for mass. Percents for your percent mass. So in this case, we had 400 grams of a 10% solution. So there's the one set. So it doesn't matter which one you put it on. I'll put it on the left side here. So the percent was 10.0 times the mass, which was 400, equals, now the question was what mass of that same, you know, the solution, but it had a different percentage. So this would be 68.0 times X, and then solve for that way. If we did it this way, 68 Divide both sides by 68.0. Divide it by 68.0. We should come out to the same answer. Let's see. 10 times 400. 
divided by 68. Yep, I get 58.8. 58.8 grams of my solution. Now, the only reason why I can do this formula is because we wanted to solve for the same thing. So in this case, they asked for a mass of a solution, and then they gave us a mass of a solution. If they asked for a mass of a solution, but they gave you the solvent amount or the, so the solute amount and not the solution, not the same number, you cannot use this formula. This formula is only if you have the same units, like solution, solution straight across the board. Okay? So there you go, guys. Either way is fine. Fine with me, at least, right? But your teacher or professor might say otherwise, but... I just want to show you that there are multiple ways to solve for the same question, okay? Hope you guys are doing well. Keep studying hard, and I'll see you in the next lesson, okay? All right, bye-bye.